Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of I2I Live, where we talk about all kinds of Disney news, Marvel news, Star Wars news. I'm Kyle. And I'm Jessica. Thanks for watching once again. This is our second time doing this show live, so how do you feel about it? I feel cold, and you're like in a t-shirt, and I've got seven layers. <laughs> um, and I feel a little bit better this week. I've almost completely gotten through all my, my flu stuff, almost. Somewhat, kind of. You're so. fine. Stop being I've got, I've got a little a little something right here that just keeps coming back and forth. You're a nurse. You're supposed to feel sorry for me. I don't. I, I reserve my sympathy for actual patients. Wow. So when I get sick, you don't consider me a patient? No, my patient and I, my husband. But I, but I would be your patient if I was but sick. But husband trumps patient. And I think I did a good job of being your nurse. You did a good okay. job. So the reason I'm actually able to talk today is because... She I took care of you. me. You did help me. You I saved your life from the man flu. The man flu? Wow. All right. Enough You're about... a man. You had the flu, a.k.a. man flu. Enough about a personal life. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about uh, Disney stuff, which is what uh, this is all about anyway. Okay. Um, so we get here every... Well, we're going to start doing this hopefully every Thursday night, 730. Um, Eastern time. Facebook Live mainly, but also we're... Uh, simulcasting on Twitter right now as well um, and then we'll put this up on our YouTube channel as long as it records. I mean, we're still learning with this new system. Not when uh, you do everything. You I just show up. Yeah, you just show up. and Did it, you see that? I did. So we have uh, activity going on in the My background. Yeah, it's just like flipped out <laughs> and ran down the stairs. See, so I still have a little bit of cough. Oh my gosh, drink some water. Anyway, oh. if you're watching this live, you, you could do us a huge favor by sharing this link out right now uh, with any of your Disney fans, friends, family uh, that want to come be a part of the conversation. That's the other thing as well. Big part about this is we want to hear from you guys. Who's here? We would love to say hello to you and also hear your comments about what we're talking about, but also if you have questions, thoughts that you want us to mention here on it, it'll pop up here for us to see, and we'll try to catch them on Twitter. They kind of come a little bit faster than they do on the Facebook Live, but hey, we're here. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I have a list of stuff that we've compiled throughout the week to talk about. But again, if there's something we've missed that you guys want us to mention, we can. I thought we should start by talking about what we would have been doing our video, our actual YouTube video for this week about had... So we're going to start on a bad note. We might as well. Get it out of the way. Okay. Go ahead. So what happened? Snow. Snow. We hate snow. No. I love snow. Jessica hates snow. snow. I hate snow because people in the South don't know what to do with snow. If we lived somewhere where they had snow plows or they salted the roads, maybe we could handle it. But freaking Atlanta doesn't know what to do. So, <laughs> I had to walk a mile to work yesterday in the snow. But how is this Disney related? That's what I'm I just to... saying. The <laughs> snow is horrible. They don't want to hear, like, you complain about why it's bad. They want to hear about what snow did to us Disney related. I'm waiting on you. I was going to let you go. You're having your little rant there. And then you cut me off. So, go ahead. Uh, we were going to go see the Lion King. Is it called the Lion King Live? Is that what, or is it Lion King on Broadway? I was just going to show up. You had ha taken care of it. I don't know. But but was is it like the Lion King on know. Broadway? Anyway, the it's the Lion King. The Lion King, the per performance that was done on Broadway, and now they're touring around. It was here in Atlanta, uh, where we live near, and I was so excited. It was our Christmas present to each other. We were going to go. It was a perfect gift. We had our tickets. We had dinner plans. It was great. Our dinner plans were Chick Fil A. That wasn't our dinner plans. What was our dinner plans? I thought you had them. So, aka okay, Kyle didn't have any plans. <laughs> um, well, I thought we had dinner plans. We did. But the snow happened, and they canceled the show, and then we, we would can't pick go. the one day out of the year where snowpocalypse. It's not even snowpocalypse. It wasn't it's even that much ice. snow. It's it ice. It was that Atlanta doesn't know how to deal with ice. So. Um, no fault of the Fox, obviously. No, the Fox no, they were trying to keep people just, safe. Yeah. They so. did the right thing. But it was frustrating because, you know, we planned our whole day. We drove into work together. We packed all this stuff up to change into because, you know, you go to the theater. You got to look real nice and all that, all that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, hey, we're not going. So uh, we're going to try. I don't think we're going to be able to get into the um, extra showings that are in town because those are pretty much sold out. So we're going to try to go to... The one in Birmingham, Alabama, where our family kind of is near. That's the hope. If Kyle will get us tickets. We got to get our money back first. <laughs> so. Well, anyway, the snow ruined our plans. So, unfortunately, we will not have that. So, to bring it back to Disney. As our video this week. The snow bothered me anyway. That was 
good. That moving was, on. That was a good reference. Moving on. Okay, no, 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 no. Since we're talking about the snow, do you want to have my fun fact Thursday? Okay, go Since ahead. Since it's not Friday? Take a guess. Wouldn't it be like terrific trivia Tuesday, Thursday or something like that? Anyway, do you know the last time it snowed in Orlando at Disney? The last time it snowed in Orlando at Disney. Last time it snowed in 19, Disney World. 1982. You're very close, though. Really? Literally, January 19th, one day after this. What? 1977. What are the odds there? 40 years ago tomorrow was the last time it snowed in Disney World. Aren't you proud that I like knew this fact? You actually came prepared to the show tonight. Can you believe it? This is like the first thing I've been prepared for <laughs> all week. Work, school. Snow. <laughs> I haven't been prepared for nothing, but fun fact, Thursday. I cool. got it. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm yeah, so 40 it. years ago tomorrow was the last time it snowed in now, Disney World. Now, it would be really cool to be at the Magic Kingdom and it's actually snowing there. And then it would probably ruin it and shut down all the rides. Like, it shuts down everything right. here. So when you see the snow, the soap snow they have that comes at the Magic Kingdom and stuff during the holidays, they, uh, you know, there's no worry of that. But when there's actual ice, you know, we can't ride. And, well, I guess all the rides are indoors, or most of the rides are indoors. Dumbo's um, not. No. Dumbo's not. Goofy's not. There's a ton Train's of rides. Not. Peter Pan is inside. <laughs> it made you believe you were outside flying, I really, right? I really felt like I was flying outside. There's tons of rides that are outside. <laughs> so. Yeti. Yeti. <laughs> what is that called? What's it called? Expedition Everest. Oh, I call it the Yeti. The second best roller coaster. It's got at the Disney Yeti World. in it. Not the like the Yeti. You're cup, talking about Disco but... Yeti? Huh? Disco Yeti, you know, because the strobe light kind of makes it look as. Oh. You know that's the fun, fun fact for Jessica. I'm sure some of you Disney fans out there know this already. Did you know that the Yeti used to move? It doesn't move now. No, it doesn't move now. Really? No, it doesn't move now at all. Um, so the something happened with the mechanisms and like it can't like functionally move its arm or anything now like it was supposed to. I guess you're right. It doesn't move. No, but I think with the lights. It makes it look like That's it's why we moving. call Disco Yeti. <laughs> I don't think people actually call it that. I think that's just you. No. I try, okay. For everyone out there, if you're watching live and the recording or on the YouTube channel right now, comment section, have you ever heard of it called Disco Yeti before? I want to know if I'm the only one that knows about this or if this is actual common thing. AKA, so. did Kyle make this up? Or am I just out of the loop? Whatever. Um, it's probably that I'm out of the loop. You're out of the loop. You're way out of the loop. It's, it's fair. I, I live out of the loop. I live outside the perimeter too. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, now I got we got. Yeah, yeah, we gotta move on before you tell any more bad jokes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Kyle's first thing is the Black Widow standalone film. Yeah. So apparently, recently, I think it was in the last week, they announced. Well, I never saw an actual announcement, but there was just people talking about it, that Black Widow from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Scarlett Johansson. It's supposed to. Well, they didn't say Scarlett Johansson either. They said Black Widow, the character, is supposed to get a standalone film. Okay. Now, why this is huge is the only other ca woman character other, uh, uh, that has get, is getting a solo <laughs> film <laughs> is Miss Marvel, which is two a year or two away. <clears throat> so this is kind of huge that you'll have you know a female lead have her own film. Um, but it's the interesting thing I found about it is that the director for the short, which you loved, Oh Lost Frozen Adventure, is going to be the director for it. That's just I so. Thought. Here's my comment. Go ahead. We know this movie is going to be five hours long. Why? Because if the short was 20 minutes, can you imagine the length of time a real movie would be if he directs it? Good gosh. I, it's going to be longer than Titanic. <laughs> That's pretty long. Um, I will say this. Not so sold on the director choice, obviously, but at the same time... I'm ready for, you know, some different type of Marvel Cinematic Universe movies other than what we come to Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, you know, Spider-Man now. Um, it's nice to see, like, little, not little, but, like, smaller characters getting their own big feature film. So, okay. you know, I, 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 I'm in favor of it. I mean, I'm in favor of any Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff. I don't know about you, but. I mean, it's just not my type of movie. They're fine. Well, not my thing. Yeah. We do have, like, the only Marvel character we have on our Christmas tree is the Black Widow. Yeah, she was like, well, no, we have Spider Man. Spider Man's on there. Sp Spider Man's on there, too. Two Spider Man's, actually. Because Spider Man's the best, as you, if you cannot tell. That's fair. 
What's the next thing we have for Disney News? New DHS area loops. Do you know what DHS stands for? Decatur High School. Oh my goodness. It's what it does stand for. Not Disney related. Oh, Disney no. High School. Somebody help me. Somebody help Disney me. Disney Hypers. Disney's Hollywood Studios. Do you remember me not sending you the link of the YouTube thing and having some of the music play? Did you listen to any of it? Here's here's the thing. Today is Thursday. You sent that on what Monday? Yeah. Okay. Let's focus on Thursday. Today is a new day. So. Um. Pushes adventure rather than movies. Why don't I read my notes since you were like, oh, DHS Decatur High School. <laughs> so, here's I'll get your we'll get your opinions on it. Since okay. You're not, so you know it. Oh, we're gonna turn around and face. Well, I'm just like, I didn't mean to like make that dramatic or anything like that. But um, so the big thing with Hollywood Studios changing, you know, like Galaxy's Edge is coming there, Toy Story Land. It's okay. it's moving away from the working theater media type concept of a theme park, right? Because right. they took away Lights, Motors, Action, the backstage, a backlot tour, all that kind of stuff. So now, what the rumor has always been that they're gonna change the name to Disney's. Hollywood Adventure, so that it would kind of now be the concept of you are in the movies. Does that make so sense? So hold up. We're going from MGM to Hollywood Studios to now Hollywood Adventure. This Like, this is excessive. The park has always struggled to find an identity that... And it likes. Well, not that it that can, sustain, can sustain itself. Like, I think when they made this park, it was in, it was in response to Universal right. coming. So they kind of not stole the idea, but they took made their own version of it. Well, and I understand the move from MGM to Hollywood Studios. Right. Because of the backlot tour and everything that you said before. Well, and they didn't have MGM and after their partnership in. You know, that's Metro, Metro Goldwyn something. Meyer. Meyer, yeah. Um, right, but I, I don't know. It's kind of like rebranding. I mean... You know, sometimes it really does work because then people are like, oh my gosh, the park's not going to be called Hollywood Studios anymore. We need to buy all the things. And they buy like 400 the t-shirts. Yeah. They buy like everything. And you're like, <laughs> people, you don't need 700 sweatshirts that say Hollywood Studios. But I do. Come on. Okay, so people like Kyle, you should rebrand all the time for because he's nostalgic and he's going to be like, remember that one day that it was called Hollywood Adventure? Oh, I have a sweatshirt from it. Be nice. I'm be just nice. saying. Like... I don't know. I think maybe we should stick with the same name. So, back to the point. With them changing the identity, the concept, and maybe the name someday. They, that's, it's even like, pull your little thing up here. I don't know how to to work your little thing here. Your little magic. A phone. How does it know how to work a phone? Uh, pushes. So, I wrote Pushes Adventure out of the movies. That was the point it made in, in the, I don't think it was a press release, but just like the news articles that were coming out about it. That... In the background, you know, you, that's one of the things that Disney's known for is their background music. It's kind of iconic. You know, people think of the Main Street Electrical Parade, that ding, 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 <laughs> stuff, that, and all that kind of stuff. It's yeah. just those tunes you get stuck in your head. You know, Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow playing in the oh, background. Yeah. And uh, I love, no, I love that ride. But if you start singing that song, it's going to be stuck in my head for five days. It's not great, Main Beautiful Tomorrow. So, um, instead of like, classic type of Hollywood music that you would hear in the background from the mm -hmm. olden times and, and some new, you know, more modern stuff. Now, and then they would play, like, theme songs of old movies and TV shows and stuff like that. Like, I think Happy Days played, I'm trying to remember the spot where it was. I think it was, oh, 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 it's, it's the restaurant we eat. It's always too expensive that we don't want to eat at it, but it looks good. Back by Sci-Fi Drive-In dive dive in, dive in Theater. What's it called? Uh, no. Um, commissary, ABC Commissary. ABC yeah, Commissary. Yeah. It's not that it's too expensive. It's too expensive for what they offer. Yeah. I mean, well, obviously, we Disney. we go to Ohana one time. We have. Oh, going again. We're definitely going again. But I'm saying, like, we're not opposed to paying enough money for a good meal, but I'm not going to pay 14 bucks for a cheeseburger. Like, uh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, it was, a little, it was a little pricey for a quick service for me. But you would hear Happy Days playing there. Now, throughout the park, they're pushing the theme of adventure, which would kind of lead credence to them changing the name or the concept to a Hollywood adventure. So it's moving away from the working theme, the working studio, as it hasn't been for years, but to, hey, we're taking you into the world of this movie, Galaxy's Edge, Toy Story Land. That's a good idea. I 
it's not the idea I had for Hollywood Studios. And we, oh, because like, you're on the Disney board. I would love to be. Hey, Disney, if you're listening, I'd love to be on the Imagineering board. I, but I think it's good to get that immersion experience. Yes, but it's again. I know I'm nostalgic. I just, I wish Here the we go. I wish the concept of the working the um, movie studio that had you know theme park elements to it had worked because I thought it was really cool, really different. Now I, I it just, agree that that was really cool, but now it just feels like, hey, we're gonna take this IP, this intellectual property. This IP. I work on a movie, and we're just going to build a world around it, as opposed to having like a theme. You know, I thought my idea. Remember what I told you for Hollywood Studios was is they they can call it the Hollywood Adventure if they still want to, or you could just keep it the Hollywood Studios and then take the different companies that Disney's acquired: Lucasfilm, mm-hmm. you have uh, Pixar, which they already had set up for. Now they're just making it Toy Story Land. You could have maybe squeezed Marvel in there if they could ever get the contract thing negotiated with Universal. Mm -hmm. And then there was one other. What was it? Pixar, Lucasfilm, Marvel, Disney Animation. And you can keep the animation courtyard there. Okay. And then they could have still kept Sunset Boulevard and made it kind of the homage to the old Hollywood kind of thing, you know. So have Tower of Terror and then play the old Hollywood music there. And it could be like, this is the olden times, but this is all the new stuff now, the new Hollywood studios kind of thing. Anyway, I got off on a tangent there. New music there. I listened to some of it. It's fine, but I'm sure it'll grow on me as as time goes on. It's the monorail. You can you can stop. It's the monorail. It's the monorail. Oh, that's the next one since I can't work See, for messages. Okay, you're done. With the the monorail. Monorail. As you went on a rant about last week about them needing to fix it. It's should, in the repair shop. You should be happy. You should be happy though. I mean, that's not a surprise. Like you act like this is some big newsworthy event. Oh, they're fixing the monorail that broke. I would hope so. What do they want children to fall out? Like, duh. Well, I'm just saying. It, we found out it was monorail red. Is what they got. I think they have red, blue, and something else. Um, but so they're at least doing something about it. It appears. Well, it could have been just one little malfunction that never, ever happens, and then it's just that one time it but happens. But they still have to fix it. They still have to have maintenance come out and repair it. I just... It's a big deal. It's really not. It's a really big deal. They go at work today. There was a hole in the wall, and somebody came and fixed it. Should I can't win. That? I can't win. I just want you to know that apparently since maintenance is news, how about the mini Hollywood star? I knew that's that's why you're brushing past this is because you want to know talk about that. So talk about why Minnie deserves her own Hollywood star. Well, hasn't Mickey had one since but literally Mickey, like 1945? But Mickey, of course, Mickey gets one. But I'm not saying that Minnie doesn't deserve one. I'm just saying. So hold up. Minnie gets or Mickey gets one because he started. It all started with a mouse. Correct. But I mean, do you think that? At, no, no. Oh, she's ne- oh, she's yanking things down out of there. Minnie is back there. She does have a space. I just covered it up with the Mickey clock because I haven't put it up on the wall. Right, yet. that I bought him six months ago as a gift, and he throws it back there. No, I like, just I haven't. This had... is why I don't buy him gifts. No, it's he messed up my thing right there. Okay. Oh jeez. Anyway. So you're happy that she's finally getting her star? Yeah, I'm just a little perturbed that she didn't have it this whole time. Like I feel like she's earned it. I think it's one of those things that it has to certain amount of time has to go yeah, by. Yeah, but why now? Like why did they give her a star? Probably she was you know, a lot of times I don't know if this is how they do it for the Hollywood stars, but like for I'm just using this as a sports example. Hall, the all star or hall of fame for baseball. They mm-hmm. have individuals that go on the ballot each year, and they get voted on the ballot, and then those people get voted on who goes in this year. Doesn't if they don't make it, doesn't mean they can't get into it the next year. It just means they'll recycle through. So usually, but there's so what you're saying is that Minnie has been on the ballot for a million years. I don't and never know that, it? but I'm just saying that. First of all, it's not a real thing, like person. Jeez. <laughs> but, Do you believe in Santa? Uh, but I believe Santa lives in all our hearts. So does Minnie. Um, but I think that... <laughs> I just wonder if maybe this is finally, you know, not that she wasn't better candidate than anybody else, but I just think that you give more credence to the actual actors and stuff like that. No, no, that. I I a thousand percent agree. I mean, Mickey is that Mickey. A, you give that a Mickey. real person... Should get a star before some drawn character, like drawn character. Well, I'm just saying, like, what are you gonna do? Just stop drawing Minnie? Oh, okay, nobody, you know, nobody's hurt, but 
You know, when an actor quits acting, like people are like, wow, that's sad. Well, she's got it now. I don't know. That's if I mean, that's I, great. I think it's wonderful. Now, the real travesty here is if Donald Duck does not have. Oh, jeez, he doesn't wear clothes. If he, he he doesn't wear pants, that's what it is. That's part of clothes. But he wears his shirt and his hat. But that's what I'm saying. They're not going to give it but to him think because it's it. inappropriate for he children. Swim, he swims, and so he's got to have his little bottom and his little feet. Many you know, walks, and she wears clothes that cover her body, like her. Because parts. she's out. But think he's a duck. He swims most of the time. Their bottoms and their and their legs are not, you know, exposed to the public for public stuff. I don't know. Uh, Donald Duck deserves one. If he doesn't have one, that's a travesty because we all know that he is Mickey's best so friend. Watch your Donald Duck thing over here. I don't know why hasn't someone gotten me a gotten me a Donald Duck gift? Because the last gift I got you, you threw on a shelf. That's not true. The last gift you got me is right here. It's Mickey. I'm a verse in it. And the last gift you got me was the Star Wars thing. Go watch our Disney haul for all our Disney gifts that we have. Yeah, uh, you're right. Got okay. books down there that you got me. Yeah, not being read. They're gonna be read at some point. I'm teasing you. Okay, last thing. Oh, the world of Disney. I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't feel good about it. I kind of like. So tell them what the world of Disney is for those who don't know. It's the best store ever in Disney <laughs> Springs. It's like this huge store that has everything you could ever want in Disney, and there's always five billion people in the store. And it's like part of the fun, though. It is kind of, but you'll be on one half of the store and be like, "Oh crud, I need to get a Disney mug," and you'll run over to the mug and be like, "Oh crud, I need to get a magnet," and you'll go over here. How, you've lost your husband like 12 years ago. So then you're like, oh no, I forgot to get a hat. So you're back over here. And before you know it, you've lost two hours of time and you've walked 2,000 steps. So just know that once you walk into the world of Disney, time stops. The world like just continues going on outside of the store. But in the store, you're just like, whoa, this is a really cool magnet. And Kyle's calling you and you're like, oh, the store's closing. That's Are you pretty done? accurate description. <laughs> I could stay in that store forever just looking at all the stuff because, I mean, it's very rare. We, we do very good. When we go in there, we say we're going to buy one thing yep. for each other, you know, for our souvenir. I buy a mug. I, I buy usually, actually, what do I buy in there normally? Um, you vary it. Sometimes you buy pens. Sometimes you buy a shirt. But one that's year where you I got this. I don't know if they can't see it up there, but the Star Wars flaming um, Stormtrooper helmet thing that I got up there. That's where I got that. That was awesome. Be excited oh. about it. But yeah, so um, if you've been to Disney World, you've probably been to... It's not the Emporium that's on Main Street. It's no, in, no, no. This is in Disney Springs, which to me is better because you're not wasting part-time in a store. And, I mean, this is just how we do it, but we go to Disney Springs and then take our souvenirs back to the hotel. So we're not, like, either getting our souvenirs shipped to our hotel or carrying them around in the park. Yeah, except we're that just, one time. We did, about, we did the... <laughs> <laughs> we did the Christmas thing where we bought my mom the Christmas figurine. Oh, yeah, because we couldn't we, find it anywhere we had, else. We had it sent to, back to our but room. But that's what I'm saying. We had it shipped to our room because we couldn't find it anywhere yeah. else. Um, but the the world of Disney, they're redoing it. So we don't know what they're going to do. Here's and, the only thing that I wish they would do. Okay. Is the Disney mugs are on one side of the store and the Disney kitchen section is on a complete other side because of the here's why cuz yeah. mugs are a high priority item and they're trying to disperse the high ticket thing so that everybody's not in one area i get it not just that it just but think doesn't about doesn't make logical sense think about the layout of the store when you walk in yeah it's like it's it, it's first it, it depending upon what door you go in okay but the There's front of the, the front of the store though that main when you walk up and it kind of goes this way it it wedges out right it's the stitch door right that's yes. where stitch fits on you so, right when you walk in, they know that they need to put a collectible Except up there. Except that if that's the main door that everybody goes in, that's where all the children go in. And all of these little kids and their strollers and their arms. And they're distracted by stitch or, <laughs> spitting stitch on the they're outside. They're just going to break all the mugs. How are and they that's again? why I can't ever find one. How are they again? You know how kids are. They're just excited and they see all the stuff that's that they how want. You they're as like, a kid? Mom! And there goes another broken mug. Well. Uh, they are remodeling it, apparently. I don't so know. I, I just don't. wonder, like, how long is it going to be shut down? I don't like, think they're probably going to shut down sections, sections of it. Now, think about this. Remember when we went there in October, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique had moved out of there, and it was just kind of like this, I forget what's, what they had moved into there. Oh, yeah. It was like, God, it was weird. But it it, it didn't feel like it fits. So I almost felt mm -hmm. like that was a space holder, so I bet they're going to start with Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. What? Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. What? And move everything in sections, and that's how you're going to see. So, I don't, yeah. to me, this feels like it's going to be just like a 
a theming change in there. Yeah, might... like I just can't imagine what they'd have to remodel. Like I the hope... layout of the store is good. It's just their placement of things. I hope that they do not get rid of the dancing dishes for that dance to oh. at the checkout. That is like part of. But you know what I do think they should probably get rid of what the random checkout in the middle of the store. There's a random checkout. Remember when we went in October and they had opened that Star Wars section? It's at the back though. And it's still kind of. And there's like a door back there that people can go in and out of. That's why it's back there. There's a door. Yeah. There's like Secret five door? doors. There's like five doors. No, there's not. Okay. There's a door. Well, despite all that, um, you know, it's things have to change as much as we don't want them to. I'm not, change is hard. I'm not happy about that. Um, so, to recap tonight. I'm not happy that it snowed. I think you made that clear. <laughs> I'm just recapping. You said let's recap, so I'm recapping. So we're, Jessica's not happy that snow. It ended our YouTube video for this week. Chances, which were the Lion King reviewing the Lion King stage show. Um, instead, we got something that we've kind of thrown off the cup here. We'll put it up. On thrown my, off the what? Thrown off the cup here. I don't know. I'm just saying things. Um, I thought you said it'll that. be coming. This will be coming out on YouTube. Obviously, if you're watching on YouTube, it's too late. You're, you're already watching it. But it'll be coming out Friday morning or Friday afternoon, something like that. Um, and then the video that we're doing instead of The Lion King will come out on Monday. <clears throat> um, that being said, I don't know if I want to announce what I'm going to be doing this weekend, but we'll have some fun stuff for our next YouTube video to talk about because it's going to be cool. <laughs> what are you laughing? I'm, gonna be, I'm just trying to be cryptic, so you should pay, be paying attention to the YouTube channel right now. Uh, what else should we remind them of besides all that? Well, we didn't go through the recap. Uh, Hollywood Studios, Area Loop Music, Your Girl, Getting the Hollywood Star, Mini, Monorail Red, who broke down last week, is getting maintenance, and in the world of Disney and Disney Springs. getting That's a very fast recap. All right, everybody have a good night. See ya. <laughs> Uh, if you have not, please go over to our YouTube channel, if you're watching this on Facebook or Twitter, and um, go check out our channel over there. We do all kinds of stuff. Um, what do we do over there? Disney Hall. Disney Hall. Movie reviews. Trailer, trailer reviews. reviews. Um, it's all Star Wars, Disney, Marvel stuff. So if you can't find something to be a fan of in our channel, then I, I can't help you. It's like, <laughs> there's tons of stuff in there. Uh, my favorite to this day is still the Punisher trailer review video, but hey. You know. Why? Because it was terrifying. It, what well, for you it was. But anyway, i got to finish okay. that series. So anyway. What else should they do besides checking out our channel? This is normally your cue on our videos. Um, be sure to check us out on Facebook if you're not already watching us on Facebook. And our Twitter account as well. And our Twitter account. I don't do Twitter, so. Make sure you uh, hit us up in the comments here. Let us know what you thought about some of these news stories, your opinions on them, and in the comments. And if y'all call channel. the Yeti the... The dancing stroke thing. Disco yes, that's what we want to know. Dancing Yeti, Zorba's Yeti. Be on my team, Team Kyle. Hashtag Team Kyle. Hashtag Team. Hashtag, hashtag Dancing Yeti, uh, or you no know, Disco Yeti. He didn't even know what it's called. That's why you shouldn't be on his team. He sucks. That's all we have for you guys tonight. But until next time, we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye. We are.